You all had something taken away from you. But who would do such a thing? Mr. Zorg? You took all our stuff! That's right! I saw you were all having too much fun, and I just had to put a stop to it. Not cool, dude. Give us your stuff back. Never! I've sprinkled it throughout our solar system! You'll never find it. Unless you happen to know a lot about space. I mean, I do dabble. Well, I'm about to put your knowledge to the test. I'll give each of you a clue as to where I've hidden your most precious object. If you can figure out which planet in our solar system I've hidden it on, you're free to take it back. Welcome to Ryan's world! Hey friends! Last time Ryan asked me to tell him about the Earth's place in the solar system. Let's find out what he thought of it. Oh, that man must be Ryan. Wow, Peck, that was an amazing story. What happened next? Did you end up going to Mercury, Venus, or even Mars? Let's find out, friends. Oh, what's taking so long? Oh, greetings, everyone. We were just waiting for Mr. Zorg to send his first clue. He's taken our things and hidden them throughout our solar system. That's him. It's the first clue. It's a video message. What's it say? Greetings, VTubers. If Peck wants his chemistry set back, he'll need to check the planet that's closest to the sun. Better pack some sunscreen. <laughs> huh. That was a lot of ha-has. Oh, I can't believe that villainous Mr. Zord stole my favorite chemistry set. I was right in the middle of an experiment, too! Don't worry, Peck. We'll get it back. This clue is an easy one. Do you all remember the first planet in our planet song? Hmm. A galaxy is a group of planets and stars. The Milky Way is what we call ours. Inside of it is our solar system. A sun and eight planets. Now how about we list them? First, there is Mercury! That's right! Mercury is the closest to the sun. And Mr. Zorg is right. Its closeness means that it's very, very hot. So Peck, be careful, okay? I will! Mercury, here I come! Peck, Peck, and away! Let's get Ionic! Hey Peck! Can you hear me through your headset? Roger! Gosh, it's so bright. How will I know if I found Mercury? Well, what are you seeing? There's a large, rocky-looking object. It seems like it's the closest thing to the sun, but I think it's too small to be Mercury. No, that's it. Mercury is the smallest planet in our solar system. It's roughly the size of Earth's moon. Spectacular! Racing for Intro! Good luck, Intrepid Penguin Explorer! I probably won't get any points for gracefulness, but I did it! I landed on Mercury! Now, to find my chemistry set! How much time do I have, Dr. Ion? Fortunately, you'll have plenty of daylight to search. Mercury rotates slower than Earth, so a single day on Mercury lasts about 58 Earth days. This surface feels hard and rocky. It's like a desert on Earth. That's right. Mercury is what we call a terrestrial planet. That means it's made of rock, just like Earth. Fascinating. Mercury and Earth seem to have several similarities. Both are rocky, both have gravity, and both receive light and warmth from the sun. Wait. Since it's so close to the sun, does that make this the hottest planet? Surprisingly, no. While temperatures on Mercury during the day can reach a scorching 800 degrees Fahrenheit, at night it can actually plummet to a frigid negative 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Don't worry though, I've specially designed your spacesuit to keep you protected from those extreme temperatures. Gosh, thank you! Why does the temperature change so much? Doesn't Mercury have an atmosphere to keep the climate stable, like Earth does? Great question, Peck. You're right. 
Atmospheres are the layer around a planet that keeps the heat in. But Mercury's atmosphere is so thin, it's almost like it doesn't even have one. That leaves it super hot during the day and super cold at night. That explains all the glaciers and ice around me. They probably stay ice cold in the shadows. But wait, if there's no protective barrier against Mercury, doesn't that mean it's constantly in danger of... Meteors! Ah! Get the safety pack. Gosh, that was a close one. I hope the rocket ship is okay. Peck, you're okay. Where are you? I'm in a cave. A very smooth cave with nails in the walls? Hmm, that doesn't sound like a natural formation. Yes, the structure is definitely man-made. Or should I say, Zorg me! <laughs> What's going on, Peck? Do I hear meteors? Dr. Ion, send coordinates to the rocket! Set course for Earth! Ionic! You got your chemistry set back? Sending coordinates now! Just in time, too! I don't think the shabby cave Zorg made is gonna last much longer! Oh gosh, these meteors have really done a number to the planet's surface! There's craters everywhere! Uh, Dr. Ion? How strong is the gravity on Mercury? It's about half the strength of Earth. Why do you ask? Hmm, if my calculations are correct, I think I should just make it. Uh, Peck? What you doing, buddy? Dr. Ion, initiate the rocket's launch sequence! Are you inside the rocket? Because if I initiate without you in it, you could be left stranded on the surface of Mercury forever! No time to explain, Dr. Ion! Uh, start the engine! Okay, Peck. It's done. I've started the rocket. Peck? Peck? Are you there? Are you there? Well, did he make it? The suspense is killing me! Peck, you did it! And I got my favorite chemistry set back, too! Oh, I can't wait to resume my experiments! Dude, that was combo awesome! It was the bravest thing I've seen anyone do! Okay, everyone. Let's see if you've been paying attention. Which is the first planet in our solar system? Is it A, Sun, B, Venus, C, Mercury? Of course, it's A, the Sun! Duh! The Sun isn't a planet combo. The correct answer is C, Mercury. The theme of our episode, of course. Hmm, I wonder what planet Mr. Zorg will send one of us to next time. Well, I guess you'll have to watch to find out. We'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Alrighty, bye. Bye!